Welcome back to Nikki's Scrapbooking Adventures. Today we are going to do another installment of No Photo, No Problem. So I've got no ink in my printer still and I have a super cute picture of my son just chilling. You know, uh, we've got another photo of him doing this the day he was born. He was sitting back, relaxing, hand up above his head, ankles crossed, just chilling. And I got another photo of him doing that while we were on a walk. How cute is that? Well, my ink is out of, or my printer is out of ink, and I want to scrapbook this layout. So, today we are going to take some inspiration from... Christy's Beautiful Life and her 30 Days of Sketches. This sketch is from Scrap a Sketch and I will be using those tags. I pulled my materials for my mega spring kit and I did not find a single cloud page. Not a one. Not a one. So what I ended up doing is actually making my own. That's right. I made my own background page using a stencil. How cool is that? I absolutely love this stencil. So hopefully you can see that just a little bit better. But it has the clouds and then little clouds and then rain and then grass. So this is perfect to make your own backgrounds for anything. Really, now this is designed for a card, so it is on a smaller scale. I would love it if it was massive. These raindrops are a little bit too small for a 12 by 12 in my opinion, unless you really want small, small raindrops. But anyway, I digress. So I took this stencil and I placed it down here. Actually, I started over here. Okay, you can line it up, sort of. There we go. <laughs> and then what you do is you take your round foam dauber, dauber with some ink on it, and you just rub. Rub, 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 rub. Going back and forth, making sure that you're going at different angles so that your clouds look like clouds. This is the second time I've done it, and I love the result. I might just make up, like, 15 of these so I can just have them in my blue paper category. One in my spring category, you know. I, I really enjoy the way that this turns out. One thing I would recommend for the manufacturers who made this is that these clouds are really close to this line. So... It is super easy to get pleat pieces like this dot right here, right there, you know, because your dauber just goes over it just a little bit and you get this little smudge. It doesn't look horrible though. I don't think you would have noticed if I hadn't pointed it out. So this is just super fun. Super, super fun. Okay, going back to my sketch. I need a like a 6x12, six 6x10 by six by block of paper here and then some tags. That's really what it is. And then one photo. I'm going to use a 4x6 paper here and I'll just trim my photo below 4x6. And then I am going to put a block. This is a 6x11.5 so I do have a margin around it. did that on purpose. The thing that inspired me today was my title piece. I actually got this sticker from the Dollar Tree. Look at how cute that is, right? And it has the rainbow. So my tags are going to be in rainbow order. I'm just going to butt them right up against my piece here. And I'm going to go in rainbow order. So hello, red, orange, yellow green, blue, and purple. Okay, 
Now, in the sketch, there is a band of paper. I'm going to be using this yellow piece, like the sun, you know. I thought this would be a really fun way to document. Now, I do realize that seven twelfths of my cool cloud papers covered. I'm okay with that. I did it myself, I can do it again, ink's reusable, I've got all that stuff, so. My photo, instead of being in the middle, is gonna land on this side. I just like it better. That's really all it is. And then my title is gonna land right here. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da. So I am gonna come back and we are going to put the embellishments on together. I have not removed the sticky. So I want to get this all adhered and then we will actually put this layout together. Okay, so everything is adhered down just using my advanced tape lighter. I don't know what I would do without this. I know what I would do. I used to use glue sticks. Glue sticks. Oh my gosh, no, no. No more. No more. And I forgot to mention that I just made my tags using the Fiskars Tag Punch. Super easel, easy and it'll even punch the tag whole. And then you can also do the little bracket things that go right here. Brad, not Brad's. I can't think what they're called. But it does the fasteners as well for you. I don't really want fasteners. I think I'm actually going to leave the holes open. And we're going to use a technique called color blocking. So I pulled a whole bunch of embellishments here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to stick them on here on the tag color that it's associated with. So, for example, this lazy day is going to go right here and it's going to kind of disappear. And that is what I want to happen, right? Because I am color blocking. Okay, do that thing. Adding a little bit of a granite. I have not, outside of just pulling these, sure didn't plan this at all. So we are doing it together. And I pulled all of these stickers from various sticker books. Okay, let's do orange next. Now I don't have much orange. So, I'm doing the Calvin Ball challenge this month, and one of the items on the list is to use some vellum. What a great way to get some orange on your pillow out when your sticker sheets clearly don't have that much orange. And the orange piece it does have has some color on it. So, I'm going to add a piece of vellum, vellum here as a little bit of a butterfly because I want to put some other butterflies down on this page. Okay, so let's get some orange. I thought this was cute sunshine. Let's put it right in the middle there and I've got a little bit of a flower that I can place right there and then my butterfly can go right there. Now, let's adhere this. Just so it's done. I don't want to spend a whole day on this. Now, watch what happens when I use my adhesive on this. It kind of makes the vellum go clear right there, and that's okay. That's absolutely 100% okay. And then I pulled this little piece from a bits and pieces bag from Bella Boulevard cute little orange. So each of my sections is going to have a little bit of a doodad, right? And a little bit of a word saying. Now this one kind of goes outside the norm, right? Because got a little blue banner, but I just thought this little chick was so cute. It has to go on the page. It just has to because it's my page and that's what I want to do. And it's super cute. And I'm going to add a little bit of a sunshine there. Look at how that pops. Even though that's a yellow sunshine, that really pops. 
I think I'm gonna add a little other butterfly. It's not quite enough. So I am just folding the wings here and getting it to crease so that it'll pop up like this. Now in the page protector, it will flatten. But for right now, I like to think that it's flying. <laughs> so add a little bit of glue and upside the right side up and we're gonna stick it going the other way i don't like my butterflies to all be going the same way right okay so then oops a little bit more glue not a big deal this is quick dry so it does dry quick and if you don't get your thing stuck on there right where you need it to be the first time it doesn't like Oh, look at how cute that will be once it's all dry. Okay, so now we've got green. And I want to put something on this side for this one. Because I can. And this sticker here is actually from Allie Edwards. Surround yourself with bliss. Perfectly describes my son's picture, right? He is chilling with a bottle in hand and feet up. Let's put that like that. And then we're going to put it right down here. I don't want to cover the hole. I feel like I've been doing that lately. So, okay. And then best day ever is going to go right there. And I thought I had a green butterfly. These are actually from, nothing just straight green. These are from Dollar Tree. Look at how pretty and dimensional and they've got glitter and all the fun things on them. Okay, green's gonna be kind of blank and that's okay, right? It doesn't have to be crazy. And then I got blue. Now I have this piece here that is really, really long. I am going to go ahead and cut this down using my nonstick scissors. And I think I'm just going to chip and chip. Oops. Let's make it straight though. Okay. So these can go right there. I've got this right here. Do your thing. And I've got a little bitty butterfly from that sticker sheet. And then I've got a little bit of a cloud, and I thought that would be perfect for my title area. So I'm going to kind of move it up a little bit more so it's really seen. There, perfect. Okay, so I've got a little spot right there that I want to fill. I actually have all of these little things right here. Okay, so now for the purple. The only thing that I could find that was going to make sense was this cute little banner piece. All right, I'm gonna try it right there, let's see. Perfect, it just peeks through a little bit can't really tell it's there and that is okay. So there's purple. Now I have a gap here, I've got a gap here that I want to fill. So let's take a look. That's way too big. I actually was thinking about putting this right here. Now there's only foam on certain areas and I can slip my photo underneath this butterfly. So that's perfect. I just want to be able to draw my eye down to this area right here. Still kind of color blocking, right? There's a little bit of green, a little bit of blue. Okay, so now let's take a look. I feel like this needs a butterfly. And so does this one. If we're gonna do butterflies, we're gonna do butterflies, right? Let's do it. I punched these extra ones to use them, so might as well use them. Now part of Calvin Ball is one of the 
not requirements is to use question mark yeah sure rules that's what they're called rules is vellum another thing is gold another thing is green and yellow and blue together um so i'm gonna rack up the points here it's cabin ball is the craziest how did she say it craziest scrapbooking time ever with unpredictable rules so every day rules get added or taken away depending on what we feel like honestly um p players make suggestions and alice just kind of hosts it and we have a lot of fun it's fun making these layouts using the things we wouldn't normally use like i would never use villain butterflies but because i wanted to color block that's just kind of how my brain went and that's that really so let's see if i lay this flat it's not going to cover much good so one last butterfly if you are interested in calvin ball i will put it down below uh, also try to find a link to that stencil so that you could make your own cloud paper in the background. I am currently obsessed with it. It's spring. You have to have cloud paper. Companies are not making cloud paper and it drives me up the wall. Now I will say that it makes more sense to use these with the darker color than to use these with a darker color, right? Clouds are white, not blue. The sky is blue, clouds are white. So you're making the sky or the shadows of your clouds. So you could make this a super stormy looking piece of paper by using black. And your clouds could be super scary looking. I chose very light blue, happy spring day. You know, it was... 80 degrees yesterday. What? What? 80 degrees in March. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> so of course, my son is in a onesie hanging out, right? So I just think this was a lot of fun. I'm glad I did it in the way I did it. I was thinking about adding some gold here, but I think that's too much. I think I'm done enough is enough right you don't have to super over embellish something to have fun with it I had a lot of fun with this layout and I'm thankful for scrap a sketch who made that sketch and Christie's beautiful life who decided that was sketch number one for this month I will link all the Facebook groups the scraphappy.org information for Calvin ball um, I'll link the stencil that I used to make this background paper because it's a cool stencil. But I hope you have a wonderful day. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.